The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is the Eagles Sports Network. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman, head at men's basketball coach Chuck Benson. Chuck made your showdown on uh, Wednesday evening. You head over to Harrogate to play the top-ranked team in the country and the Lincoln Memorial Rail Splitters. And uh, no other way to really sum it up than LMU really, really good this year. I'm going to go a step further and say they're great. <laughs> they're beyond really, really good. They're great. Uh, and, you know, um, it's, it's going to take our absolute greatest possible performance to have a chance to win, period. What about it is that makes them uh, as good as they are this year? Uh, they have elite players. They have um, an elite coach. They're elite defensively. They're elite offensively. They have absolute confidence that they're going to win every game. And then they have a tradition where they typically win most of the time. You add all that together, and it's a recipe for winning a lot. They've got a double-digit win streak going where they've won all but two of those games by at least uh, 18 points. Uh, Trevon, Trevon Shaw uh, leads the country in three-point shooting. Uh, what's he done as a senior to kind of move into the mold of a Jarrell Simmons, a Laquan Choice, a, a Jalen Steele before him? He makes a lot of threes at an incredibly uh, efficient rate. You know, he's made 100 and almost 120 threes this year at almost 50 percent. And you know, everybody scouts typically the same. You got to try to limit his threes, but you can't. It's hard to limit his threes. He 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 has a very quick release. He's got NBA plus range. He can shoot off the catch. He can shoot off the dribble. Uh, he's unique in that he can pick up off the dribble off, uh, with either hand. Um, they do a good job of getting him separation and clearance. Uh, somehow or another, he just, he stepped, like you said, he stepped right in there and filled a spot that a choice uh, and, and other guys before him have, 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 have fit nicely in. And, you know, congr he, he's, done an he's done an outstanding job this year, no doubt about it. Also have one of the more unique uh, players in the conference in Dorian Pinson, the only player <clears throat> Uh, that's like him in the league that I can think of is Dante Samuels and Pinson's a threat to go for a triple-double uh, every night. What makes him a challenge to guard, to slow down, to harass and harangue? Well, he's, 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 got, a, he's got good size, 6'6", 230. Uh, he, and he's, he's truly like a point forward. I mean, he can, he can get a defense rebound, uh, come, come coast to coast and score it. Defense rebound, coast to coast, find somebody – to assist, uh, um, he, he, he this year in particular he's really taken his game a step farther, and he can he's shooting a three at about forty two percent. You know, uh, he, he's he's to me he's an incredible competitor. Uh, he plays with a lot of passion. He sort of I think inspires the rest of his team. Um, he, he just he, he's an elite player, man. I, mean, I can only use that word elite because it, it's it's applicable on so many levels at, at Lincoln Memorial. So. Um, we, we know that with, with him, with Shaw, we, we, we keep on naming them, we got our hands full. Yeah, yeah Emmanuel Terry, Cornelius Taylor, certainly no s slouches uh, on the floor with what they're capable of either. The one thing that is a little unusual uh, for LMU this year uh, is how many players they play. And, uh, a shorter bench than perhaps what uh, – the rail splitters are accustomed to, but how have they used that to their advantage this season? Because it really hasn't come into play. No, I mean, they've, they've played a fewer number of guys than they, than they ever have. Um, and, and then when they do stretch it and play other kids, those kids tend to step up and play well too. Uh, you know, it, it, it's, 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 it's unbelievable. I mean, I, I talk to a lot of different coaches and we all sort of all scratch our heads because you're like, man, how in the world do they perform at such a high level all the time, year by year? And it's, it's, it's really it's 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 not typical. I and mean, you look at all levels of college basketball. It's it's how they go about it isn't typical. But you know, congratulations to them. We we just um, we've got to go in there with a great deal of confidence and poise ourselves and perform at a very high level and and you know let the chips fall where they may. It really, is kind of a curious contest in terms of 
uh, motivation for you. There's really not much that can happen for Carson Newman uh, in terms of the league. You are, you're the three. There's, there's no moving up. There's no moving down. You've got the first round uh, home game. Uh, really, all the motivation for Carson Newman comes into uh, establishing credibility within the Southeast region. How do you play that factor up uh, headed into this one? Well, obviously, you know, um, we, we like where we're at in conference. And as you said, we're, we're hoping to position ourselves as strong as we can in, in, that, in that Southeast region uh, for the NCAA tournament. Um, you know, obviously, a, a great performance and a win at Lincoln would, would do nothing but bolster your position in the, in the region. Uh, a loss doesn't necessarily Im- impact you that much either. We're, we're sort of in a pretty good little spot, I think, where we're sitting. Um, this is just one of those games where, you know, there, 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 there's a lot of history in this matchup. Um, you know, they, 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 they've, they've got us slightly in the overall – they got a slight edge in the overall uh, record at, what is it, 100 and – 104 to 101, I 104 think. 104 to 101, so it's very, very close. Uh, it's, it's, you know, they, they've – um, they've presented quite a challenge, especially the last few years. But we've we've had success against them in the past, and uh, and and, and uh, I'm hoping that we can go in there with some momentum and and and, and a lot of uh, just a lot of determination to put our best foot forward. And, and like I said, just to see how it ends up. Chuck, pleasure as always. Good luck Wednesday night against the top-ranked team in the country. Thanks, Kev. It's Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, and this is the Eagles Sports Network.